Hello everybody, my name is Threatex and welcome back to Bound Lord and our Phoenix playthrough. As you can tell by the snow and the blue people over there, we are back in the Sturgeon Wastelands trying to take down the enemies that nicked my castle last episode. Also, we are extremely close to becoming a King of Kauradia now. I think this episode we can get enough renown to actually look into getting my kingdom built up somewhere on the map. Anyway, for now though, let's focus on killing these enemies. This guy has... It's one lord, by the way. He seems to have quite a lot of units, weirdly, but good for me. I get more renown that way. I don't know how. They keep missing me. <laughs> I probably shouldn't point it out, because if I... Um, there you go. <laughs> They're going to start hitting me now. Oh, no, I made a mistake. It's okay. If I keep running in one direction, they probably miss. Now, actually, I kind of tend to just attack them. Men! Charge! We're going in! Oh. Now, luckily for me, I have a lot of armor at this point. I've spent uh, probably a million pounds on my armor in total. So, I uh, low level guys, no chance of killing me. Let's save a mace or something. Let's kill some peasants, shall we? Oh, that kind of hurts me. It's begun. <laughs> the reaping. Let's do it. I like how they're all just running up to me like, I want to go. There's quite a few of them here. I don't know why, but they seem very confused. Are they actually trying to kill me or they're just running away? Actually, I think they're just running away. <laughs> well, that's pretty quick. Oh, it's only a really badass shot, but it just failed. <laughs> it completely failed in every single way. That, that was very effective. I don't think that would be very hard, but at least we got ourselves some kills. I've got to be careful because some of these cavalry might be my allies. Not that guy, though. Done! Good job, everybody. 11 renown. That makes yeah, that's like a lot, but we only need 80 more, and then we can get to clan rank 4. Actually, let me just double check that before I go off that for the rest of the video. Let's have a quick look. I need, yes, <laughs> literally 80 ish. So, as I mentioned last, uh, earlier, though, there is a very large Sturgeon army running around at the moment, and I don't really think I can kill it right now because I only have 168 dudes. So, we're going to avoid them. But while that's happening, we will try and kill others. Uh, because this war just started, and most of my battalion brethren are over in the deserts over here, I think I'm going to be by myself. I don't think I'm going to get any help at all. So I might actually call some backup if I use the little uh, buttons here. Let's see if we can get some help going. Is the closest guy seriously two days away? <laughs> do you know what? I'll do it by myself. It's totally fine. So let's avoid those enemies there. I'm going to go and see if I can find some... Smaller army. Wait, Ragnvad. Isn't that the king of Sturgia? It is. Interesting. Well, let's go and take out the uh, the Grand Prince of the Sturgeons. Holder, who are you? I will know who my slave. I am Finn. Have I seriously not met the Grand Prince? I think I've taken this guy out in battle like three or four times. But I guess maybe he wasn't actually in charge of the army, so it didn't really count. Let's go and take this guy down. He does outnumber us two to one. But I'm pretty sure this guy's got some pretty weak troops. Oh, he's got warriors. Ooh. This man has been in more than one battle. <laughs> which is more, I can say, than most people in the game. Uh, let's see. Go over there. And let's go. Now, I'm kind of tempted to stand here, to be honest. Because we've got a nice little uh, hill over the top. And they come and attack us. I am very tempted. No, let's go to them. That boy's going to stay too long. Follow me, everybody. Oh, apart from the cavalry. We're actually getting quite a bit of cavalry at this point. I mean, I know 13 is not a lot to really say, but I've only got my cavalry from rescuing prisoners. So I think that's a pretty good number, really. Though, because we keep fighting the surgeons, he... Oh, actually... Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. Everyone go back that way. Prepare to fight. Um, I want you guys in square formation. Let's get this sorted out. I can't actually see what I did there. That was too big of a square. We need a tight square, guys. Soldier! I want a micro square. Forward! There you go. Look how fast my units are now. I have actually, uh, I think we did a few episodes ago, we actually have got the 25% movement speed buff on all our cavalry there, which is pretty cool. Cavalry? I mean archers. Troops! Hey, guys, go over to the corner there. Actually, guys, let's go and kill that squad of cavalry over there. Okay, here they come. The pert men. Who's that one guy? <laughs> He's still alive! I don't know how... Where was I aiming? I have many questions. That's a lot of surgery. Oh my god! <laughs> um... We're fine, right? Just keep throwing stuff. 
I get a bit worried when these guys are actually not peasants. Let's see how it goes. I want to get in the middle. Let me fight in the thick of it. It's going to be very hard to realize if I'm going to be blocking, though. I can't actually do anything. Oh! <laughs> Random Lord came out of nowhere. Screw it, I'll go in the back. Whoa, that was close, buddy. Can you not swing that thing around? You're crazy. Oops. Hopefully my ally cavalry is taking care of some of them, so they're not just around the back. That was my guy, actually. Nope. That's my guy. Luckily, the green shields give it away. Now, as this guy has so many, me me I think they're level 3 units. Hopefully, we get a lot of renown from this battle, because there is quite a few of them as well. Did that axe actually hit me? <laughs> Someone wind that back. I don't think that actually technically hit my sword. It's a random guy without any armor on. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies hit. Okay, we won. It's over. Okay, guys, uh, I want you to spread out and kill. Go, go, go! Charge! I see, there's still quite a few of them. Oh, ow. <laughs> Sir, that was not very nice. Unless they got a blunt weapon, though, because my arm is so high at this point, they're not going to really be able to hurt me much. I say it, though, a jab into the face, I will die in one hit. Without a doubt. That's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> nice. 32. Ra I'll take it. I'll take it. It's actually a bit less than I thought it'd be, to be honest. I guess there was actually only three lords. So it wasn't like there was a massive army of them. Uh, to actually, technically, they were in an army. <laughs> As I say that, let's get these guys in my little prisoner group. I'm actually going to run out of space. I might have to run back to town quickly to sell some of these guys off, or we're going to have just people escaping left, right, and center. Let's head back this way. They're still chasing me. <laughs> I I captured your king. Actually, did I? Uh, I think I... No, I have. <gasps> Look at him. Hopefully he sells for a lot of money, because that'd be pretty awesome. It looks like we've also got more tactics. Uh, what do I want to get here? Let's go for coaching. Sounds like a good one. Um, these are way more exciting for me, these future perks. But I guess it's going to take a while to get there. Maybe I should do a little bit more auto-resolving in crazy battles just to uh, get that sorted out. Is this guy... I catch him? Yours yes. is not a face I know. Actually, let's try it right now. This might be a massive mistake. I'm going to let the game auto-resolve. Everybody, pray for the um, noble troops I have. Hopefully they survive the auto-resolving. Here we go. Oh, I lost somebody. I've lost two... <laughs> Why is it always the champions that die? <laughs> Never doing it again. <laughs> it's terrible. I lose all my noble troops. Seeing like I've done that battle and lost no troops. Uh, yeah, I think it's just worth not doing that. Grab that. Might have to pick up some more um, archers at some point. We only have 83 left. <laughs> Do you know what? As I said that, I kind of realized it was probably not a good idea to say that. I'm getting some very good relationship with people. I guess I've done so many battles at this point. Everyone kind of loves me in Britannia. Hopefully that lends itself into having a lot of backup when we go into the king phase as well. Now, it looks like we have a little bit of a problem with these guys being too poor. Let's just buy some random stuff. Let oh, You can get a legendary noble bow? That's amazing. Oh, oh. Now... I do have many questions, such as how much better is it? It is better. 87 verse 80. This means, everybody, if there's a legendary noble bow, it means that there's going to be a legendary lo long bow. I want it. <laughs> Someone fetch me a legendary noble long bow. Okay, so let's actually um, give this over to uh, Pelsor. He doesn't actually have a normal lo one at the moment, but it's fine. Wow, has it really changed? Of, that was an expensive bow, everybody. I guess I might keep this in case I get another companion at some point. So we have some new slots we can give stuff over to. Anyway, so that went pretty well. I'll take all that. And also, we will get rid of the prisoners. Oop. Did I just hire some random mercenaries? Who did I hire? I don't know. <laughs> somebody. We hired somebody. Cool, let's carry on, shall we? Let's get back out there as soon as possible. Now, I do want to try and get this castle back if I can, but with that army nearby, it's not going to work out, really. Yeah, we're going to try and just... 
go by. Are they going to go for my castle over there? I'm really tempted to... I'm not going to do it because defense is a bit weird in this game. Um, we'll leave it be. They're going to take over all my stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much what's going to happen here. But what I'm going to try and do... I'm going to wait for them to start sieging, and I'm going to siege this back. At least that's my kind of original plan. Okay, go, go, go! Counter siege! So they keep them from going to Flintlock Castle, which is actually pretty well built up at this point. Who? We just captured that town literally 20 minutes ago. Uh, not in this video, but at the end of last video. Very odd. Anyway, I'm not going to put you guys through this, don't worry. We will start the siege very shortly. Okay, everybody, we're going in. I actually was thinking of auto-resolving this, but um, I'm going to go for it anyway. And also, the reason I'm going to put this on camera is because I really wanted to figure out... Everyone! Everyone, just do your own thing. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, I really want... Actually, no, just charge a sec. <laughs> change my mind. Everyone charge. I don't want them randomly standing and getting shot by a bunch of um, catapults. That sounds a terrible idea. I really want to see if they've increased the amount of renown you get from taking over castles. So if this gives me like 20 or 30, you know they've increased it um, as like a flat value. Yeah, let's get in there, everybody. Can I climb? Oh, it's too... The gradient's too high. My biggest weakness. Slight gradients. Look at all these champions trying to climb up. Up my way. Please. No. Wait. No. Oh, come on, guys. Let, let me get in the... Let me get in the thing. Yes, I'm in. Would you really climb? I'll just walk up there. I was like this. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go up here. Don't mind me. Look at my strength of my legs. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oop, oop. The side chance I made it fall enough there. Well, while I'm here, I just opened the gate, right? Oh, wait. Where is the gate? <laughs> wait a minute. They haven't built a gate anywhere. Is the ah? Is that the gate over there? This man had the same idea. It's taken down. Three hundred and one. That's that must be the highest damage done with my sword so far. Welcome, my army. Welcome to. Oh, they're pretty much inside already. <laughs> oh well. Now, with my hope of capturing this castle. Wait, what's happening? They're not inside the wall, are they? No! <laughs> not again. Maybe they're in a cap. Okay, just gonna. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just gonna end this battle. It's fine. Does this mess up my um, auto resolve renown? Eight renown. So it doesn't see. It does seem a bit increased, but that's pretty poor, to be honest. I don't care. It's fine. So my hope is that by randomly capturing this castle and uh, showing mercy, of course. That they will continually just go between the two, sieging them down until eventually they split up and I can kill them individually. I do not want them going to Flintlock Castle because I've actually built like five buildings there and that would make me upset. So let's carry on anyway. Last thing I want to be is upset. Is there actually anyone guarding it? No, there's not. Hopefully they get scared away until there's at least some militia there. Oh, they're going in. Really tempted to try this, but it might end in. Do you know what we should do? I'm gonna do a save scum. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. I'm gonna go and see if we can survive a battle if I go in and siege defense for last. But I'm not gonna put it in the video if we die. Well, I'll put it in the video, but I won't um, keep it on as canon. It's happening. Siege defense is always pretty fun, so let's give it a shot, shall we? I didn't even check what they had actually. Oh, this is a cool castle, isn't it? Did we have any... We do have some catapults and stuff. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Forward, men! Now, as my army is very, very um, high up on archers, hopefully we get do pretty well here. They have quite a few archers. I need to focus on them so we don't get... Um, my archers don't get killed. Which is pretty obvious to say, really, but <laughs> just in case. Parkour! What the... Cool. What the? Whatever. <laughs> Did they get? They put more. Ma they put more uh, magic walls in, didn't they? There you go. Oh no, the AI is so stupid. Everybody. I'm not going to show code it. It is pretty stupid at this point. The game's been out for nearly a year. Okay. Let's do it. 
Okay, I want to get... Where's a good place to be here? So I'll try and go for as many as I possibly can. Oh, they have a crossbow, sadly. That's going to remove all my armor. So, so far, it's pretty mediocre battle. No one's really got massive upper hand. Um, well, apart from them outnumbering us six to one or whatever. <laughs> but hopefully, if we keep going anyway, we get to a point where we start messing with them around. They just retreat. That's out. Oh, my face. Whoa! That was an amazing. When did that even? Is that over there? <laughs> the catapult MVP. It's like having a grenade. We just like grenade equivalent of this attack from there. It's happened again. <laughs> this is amazing. Do you know what? This one catapult might change the balance of war for us here. I think it might be better just using normal attacking mode. It kind of compensates you. Wow. I'll do this, because I can see from quite far anyway. Um, yeah. Can we see the catapult shoot? Because the enemy just rarely clumps up so much. Wow! <laughs> this is going great, everybody! We got catapults earlier. Oh, that's going to be the uh, potential loss, by the way, this thing. I probably want to focus on these guys to stop it from... Um, that way. Anyway. How many guys have we killed? 179! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Maybe I should go somewhere else so my guy can also shoot as well. Let me go here. They're going to run away from morale before they get to the wall. Or maybe, I don't know. Hopefully. we got to slow this ram down, though. It's going to end my day. We have not got enough infantry to hold off the giant horde of units they have, so... Oh, look at this. The Oswan is a hero, everybody. How many kills has he got? 162. <laughs> and bear in mind as well, that would be just him. Because he's the only one on that catapult. That's Oswan. Everyone else hasn't got um, arrows or anything. But I'm doing a terrible job trying to slow this round down, aren't I? If I was uh, using the RTS mod right now, or a one to eight, if I die, get another character, I would jump off right now onto that. I'm extremely tempted, but it'd be a bad idea. So I'm not going to do it. Ah, look at their army composition. Most of them are peasants after you get past the shield wall bit. That's great news for us. This is gone. So I, I am... They're gone. <laughs> Wait, I could do it. Parkour. Oh, no. I'm going to miss. Yeah. Hunt them down. Charge, everybody. Where do you think you're going? This is where I get killed by my catapult. <laughs> it could happen. It's happened before. They're too fast. Now, weirdly, you think this would mean that they literally just retreat they don't weirdly you captured the entire army so i've literally just captured oh my bad i don't care i'm going screw you game i just captured like a big chunk of the enemy army here only 41 renown for taking down such a large amount of enemies that's just not cool is it guys uh prisoner 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 who cool. uh these all infant no not taking no militia who's this Oh, it's like a prerequisite to the rest of their thing. I still wish that the Vikings slash Rus... Well, actually, I think these guys are mostly based off Rus more than um, Vikings. But there needs to be a super infantry line for these guys. And everybody, in my opinion. I'll take them anyway. <laughs> I'll take them. That's a lot of prisons, everybody. But luckily for us, we're already in a castle. I can just dump them. And I guess I can give them these military spearmen as well. Cool, that went great. Oh, they are escaping. Oh, interesting. It must be if the Lord gets killed. Well, clearly we need to take these guys down. So if I quickly go to the garrison, I'll dump off the two militia I picked up. I don't like militia guys. Can I pick up some? Ooh. I know this is making it more acceptable to be attacked, but I really like my <laughs> my archers. What can I say? Okay, cool. Uh, do that. Let's go to dungeon. Dump. Pretty much everybody. Some of these guys are pink for some reason. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Let's chase the rest of them down. <laughs> I hope I can actually catch them. Oh, they're going for me. How many do you reckon's here? Wait, I'm going to mm, sleep. <laughs> Just casually save. It's fine. I'll be fine, right? What could possibly go wrong? 
Stop there, strange. <laughs> I beat you, Pete. You beat me, Pete. You're trying to kill me. I hear you took the fortress of Mazadine. I did, sir. I did. Oh, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. This is perfect. So the reason I got 40 then is because we get to take out the other 40 now. And I think, everybody, I think, that after this battle, we would have reached clan rank 4. I'm not going to say I'm certain, because these might just be the peasants. So they might not be strong enough to give me the renown I need. But it might be enough. <laughs> wow. All those people. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, bum, ba -ba -bum. Oh wait, is that copyrighted? I don't know. It's okay. Moving on swiftly. Uh, let's see. How far away do we want to be? Okay, let's bring you guys forward a little bit more. Problem is, it's very hilly on my side, so it's kind of awkward setting these guys up, to be honest, on this. Actually, let's go from here up to there. We we'll have the other guys there. I'm happy with that. Cool. Let's do it, men. I'm going to do my... This is how I actually communicate with my troops. I do signals with my hands, and they know exactly what I mean. I can hear the rumblings. Actually, I think the rumblings from my own troops. <laughs> I feel like further... I might get even closer. <laughs> I, I'll leave on this bit here. Move. Move okay, so it looks like mostly low-level units, so they should be pretty easy to take care of. Though there are some laws at the back there, and like five archers. Oh, they're going to a shield wall formation. Interesting. Whoa, that was a bit close. I only got hit in the face there. I got some line breakers. I love the two-handed units, but because of how um, skills and stuff work, they're just not worth it in my opinion. If they made AI way better with high school levels, I would definitely get some super two-handed warrior dudes. It'd be awesome. Just casually killing everybody. There's people throwing javelins at my back, apparently. Whoop. Back off, guys. Back off. I'm like a wild animal when I'm caged. Oh, mouse world. Oops. <laughs> Wait, their line was so big they actually reached my... F oh, that's not good. That's not meant to be happening. Stay away from my wife. She's pregnant again. It's actually not going well because the archers are in combat. They should not be in combat. I don't know why the AI has evolved to a level where they're not actually doing what they normally do, but it's a kind of worrying, actually. Whoa. Oh, that was a beautiful kill. Yeah, because of course, if the AI wasn't restricted to their formation fighting, this would be a lot harder to do, by the way. <laughs> this game would be vastly harder. Am I losing? No, the archers are firing now. It's fine. I have lost a few people, though. It's probably the most dangerous field battle I've been in the entire series. This guy's just walking towards me like a badass. Ata, ow. Oh, I might die in a second. Let's back up to get my HP saved. Okay. It's happening. Why did that guy not defend himself? <laughs> I have many questions. It looks like... This battle is in the bag. Oh, I missed. Wait, I got this. I got this. I got this. No! Oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got it, and that was me. The game just forgot to tell you. Cool. Good job, everybody. It's probably because I've made them a bit too close. I should have had the formation, like, here instead. But whatever. 34. Ah, oh, no, I think I'm short. Whoa, you see how much money I just made? I yield. I yield. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a lot of capturing. Uh, let's take over just whatever. It's fine. Uh, I guess like no level ups now because everyone's already like max power, maximum power. I love that game. It was awesome. Oh, you okay, game? The game's okay. So. We've done it, everybody! We are clan rank four. Wow, that's a big difference between four and five. That's uh that's like 
that's a lot of episodes. We're not doing that. Anyway, everybody, I have now got to the point where we can go and create a kingdom. Now, the question is going to be, where and how do I want to start doing this? I guess, in theory, I could be a bit naughty and take over, like, a really big choke pointing place like this. Um, but the question is going to be... I think I need a castle at the start because I'm not going to have enough troops to take over a city. Oh, wait! Do I not just get a big buff to my party size? 200, everybody. I can get a lot of troops now. Uh, now, I've also got to rely on my allies also getting their troops as well. I can't see them right now, but I should have two vassals. Oh, actually, I say two vassals. Can I also get a third? Yes, I can. I don't think any of these guys are actually that good at... I need to find another um, steward companion to lead my armies in the future. Anyway, let's just do the level ups first anyway. 250 athletics, very high. More armor while on foot and plus five armor to all equipped armor pieces. Wait, what? This is either ridiculously powerful or not that powerful. So let me, let me, so five armor to all equipped armor pieces of foot troops in your formation. Does this mean that if they have all, uh, what, how many pieces do you have? One, two, three, four, five. If they have all bits of armor, do they get 25 armor? Is that how that works? Or is it only plus five? Regardless, I want it. <laughs> it will be mine. Also, does this actually apply to me as well? Or is it only applied to my troops? It'd be cool if I get even more armor. I'm going for this anyway. If you can't tell, I'm going for this. <laughs> the other one is Spartan. Less staggering. Yeah, it's just, that's just boring. Let's go for this one, everybody. Ignore pain. No pain, no gain. We also got ourselves Blade Master. Oh, yeah, for sure. Blade Master. I mean, armor, uh, not really. It's just sad, really, isn't it, this one? Attack speed, I think, is the best way of getting your troops being better. If they swing fast, they're probably going to hit the enemy more than the, um, because they don't really block very consistently. So, I'm going to go for Blade Master. Done. Worked out great. So I'm going to head back to my Flintlock Castle anyway for now. So I, normally there's two ways of doing this. You can either... Actually, but it's probably more. It's what I personally would do. Is that going to be mine again? Nice. You can either betray your faction by breaking away and taking all your land with you. But that tends to piss everybody off. So if you want to try and become a, the new Britannian king and you... Oh! I could just go and grab that place, everybody. I can just go and nick that city and start from here instead. That is very tempting, but it's surrounded by big empires. I think this is safer. Sturger is very weak in general. Yeah, let's go. Let's stay over here, I think. I want to be close to Bertania anyway. Anyway, so what I was saying, if you try and break away and become like a traitor, uh, you will piss off all the clans and it'll be hard to recruit them later on. So you really kind of want to see what approach is better for you um but it's okay anyway uh let's grab some wow i'm gonna try and limit myself here <laughs> only 100 archers <laughs> let's not go too far over it also because i'm actually about to abandon this place anyway should i not just take everyone with me let's just i changed my mind <laughs> you're all coming with me Bathin. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have a plan, everybody. I'm going to go and cheat. I'm going to go and uh, before we leave Britannia, I'm going to make things way worse for my faction by just randomly taking all the <laughs> garrison troops out of Flintlock Castle. And then I can try and capture this as my first one very easily when the surgeons attack it. Now, I presume they're going to have to take a little bit of time. They're going to have to attack Mazadan. Um, Cranog and then Flintlog, but they should just progressively go down the easiest targets to attack that are close to them. So, let this happen first. Wow, I have way too much stuff in my inventory. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought for <sighs> my heart, everybody. I thought that said it was legendary for a second, and I was extremely excited, but it turns out it was not the case. Uh, as I'm here, though, let me just give you one of these. I want to keep this. Wait, what's better? Nah, no, the longbow. 100 it's got there's 100 accuracy i, I keep it <laughs> we'll leave it be let's just sell stuff then i'm gonna get rid of the oh, too much stuff i can actually just get a noble longbow and keep it momentary for someone else done 
Okay, so while I'm running around, I also want to keep an eye out for... Let's make Surger temporarily stronger anyway. Get rid of that. More money in the bank. I want to keep an eye out for a good companion, stewardship companion, to get make the third party leader. They stopped attacking. There's like no defenders, guys. I've... I've actually, that one has loads. I need to find a steward companion. I'm only, I'm only interested in stewards at this point. That's the only thing I need. Let's go and um, see if we can help. Yeah, because I'm trying to think of another way I can do it. I can temper. Ah, they're doing it now. Perfect. Yeah, because even though I've removed the garrison, there are still, unfortunately, defenders which are the militia. They're not very strong, but they are still defending. Well, the defenders here. If I just... People are going to get really angry at me doing this. <laughs> I can see the anger right now. Like, that's cheating. I can't do this. What I might do in temporarily, though, let's just uh, spew out somebody. Send this guy out. Just so I'm not completely wasting these troops. Surgeon, surgeon, surgeon. Got a lot of... What? Who are these guys? Oh, they're all noob. Wow, damn. I'll give them to that guy. Does he have too many units? No, I think he's okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to, because we're doing a bit of a weird way of becoming a king at this point, I'm now going to just stop recording for a little bit. I'm going to let them just take over all the territory and we'll betray, well, we're not betray, but we'll leave Britannia shortly. Actually, what I might do in the interim, if I go this way, something I might do while I'm waiting, I call over some allies and we're siege down but not finish off. Uh, these cities over here. So when I when I go to my own kingdom, I can just quickly nick them. Because I imagine no one's ever been over here the entire game length at this point. So it's probably going to have a pretty... Oh, that's a pretty basic... Okay, that's not that scary at all. I reckon I can take that just with my current army, so I'm not that worried about that. Anyway, guys, I'll just uh, fast forward time and we'll see how... We... Oh, God. This is where Britannia's becoming too strong for their own... <laughs> Damn it, Britannia. Just let them take over the territories. I mean, the alternative could be that I attack the Valandians first. They're miles away. That could work out. I can take over Varchek. I'll think about it. Because no matter what happens anyway, they're gonna, there's going to be, um, their surgeons are going to take this territory over anyway, because I've removed the garrison. At least I hope so. And I will then probably attack them later. Okay, guys, new plan, new plan. Derva. What's he doing here? <laughs> I'm going to declare war directly on the king of the land here. That's going to do it, everybody. So I'm going to do the same before this point anyway, just to make sure I don't make a horrific mistake. But this is going to be the start of our kingdom. So first off... Screw you, High King. I am the only High King around here. And second off, why hello there. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. My name. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. You they may they know me as Finn. Mark it down, you shall be hearing of me a lot. I am King Deathheart. Prepare to die! War has been declared. <laughs> Whoa! Let's do it, everybody. We immediately get to take down the king of Alandia, which is, I think, perfect. Uh, let's take this. Because this guy is going to have a lot... Kings will tend to have a lot of influence, I think. So they can command large armies by getting a lot of influence in people brought to it. So taking out the king right away will stop me from seeing an absolutely gigantic army Archive, smash me in the face in the first Archive. 10 seconds. So, this may take a little bit of um, time to actually get to a stable kingdom, but from now on, we are on our own path, and we will try our best to become the best king in all Kairadia. Okay, everybody, let's go! So I guess the problem's going to be, is taking over that city. I only had 100 defenders, but I got to take it over before the allied army show up. If I can take over a city and just sit in there... Fill it up those of units. We should be okay for quite some time. We can bleed all their armies dry. Uh, guys, can you do like a... Not a... Let's do a shovel. Like a 
like I should get closer. Let's uh, move you guys up, move you guys up as well. Just go for... That's a pretty high cliff there. I really want to see if I can kill the king. Wait a minute. <laughs> I changed my mission for this. I'm going in. Cover me. The caraman may die multiple times in this battle, but I will kill their king. Uh... Hey, guys. Um, they're cool, right? Be cool. Where's their king gone? There he is. Oh, guys! Oh, I should probably be in a different formation for that. Ow! <laughs> Damn it, horse! Where'd he go? I've lost him. He was there, but he seems to... Ooh. Wait, why, why was I blocking there? For... It didn't want to hit me, but it's... I was trying to block it so I wasn't doing it. <laughs> uh oh. Blandy has probably some of the most terrifying infantry because they just have maces. Whoop! Whoop. They attack from two directions, up or down, so you have a 50-50 chance of surviving. Excellent job, everybody. Glory to my new... Wait, what do I call my kingdom? I need to figure out... Wait, I need to look up... Uh, I've. We may have to think about the uh, name of the kingdom, but we will create it very shortly. Yes! Now, a bit different than what I was doing before. Now I actually am a king of my own country. Oh, actually, I haven't done it yet, sorry. <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. Let's take over the city, then I can talk about that. So, yeah, well, anyway, I was going to say anyway. Um, now I've actually got to the point where I'm doing this, I will make sure... Why can't you do this? It's such a stupid thing. I will make sure that we... Um, what's it called? Don't sell prisoners if they're lords. We keep them with me. Mostly because I really need to make sure that um, they get weaker. If they have no lords, if they're all in prison, they can't create armies or join up, um, make parties or anything. So that's the best way of doing things. Now, oh, I've got an attribute point. Awesome. I'm going to go for, because I'm going to be a king at this point. My personal prowess is nowhere near as important as me leading armies now. So we're going to go for social and we're going to start pumping up leadership. Uh, okay, nice. I'll take it. Now, what I recommend for the game, if you people struggle making their own kingdom, if they're not like uh, great at doing like mass overwhelming battles, why can we not call my clan to action? I have three potential parties at this point with a few hundred troops each. If you have good stewards, it could be a lot higher. Why can I not call them to help me? <laughs> I need to know <laughs> why. Because it would make uh, taking over your first territory a lot easier unless you happen to kind of cheese your way into one like I am right now. Uh, Valandia, though, I think actually has a lot of troops, but I can't check because the kingdom menu's turned off, so let's check in a second. I'm not going to probably... We're just going to attack, I think. Let's go in, everybody. This should be totally fine. I've got to try and think of a name while doing this battle. I'm really bad at naming things. It actually takes me probably as long to record a video as just thinking of a title for a video. <laughs> not that bad, I'm joking. They haven't got any catapults, have they? I don't think they did. If they do, I'll move everybody inwards. If not, I'll just keep them there. Oh, they've got catapults. Catapult, catapult. They haven't got many archers, though. Uh, to be fair, let's show a bit of a color. Let's go just to here. That should be fine. I'll get my infantry to attack from this direction here. Let's go, men! It's time to claim my capital! So the reason I'm happy attacking here is because I really do want to set up my kingdom near Britannia. Because I don't want to have to deal with all the loyalty stuff. So if I get Britannian cities, I can recruit Britannian troops. It would be so much easier. Oh, dear. That was really... Guys, why are you so far away? Get here quickly. I just lost like half... No, oh, oh, wait, wait. Damn it, man. Oh, damn it. What? How do I get up then if they keep pushing it down? <laughs> wait a minute. I have many questions about how this works. Is it... If there's like multiple people on here, does it not... Guys, do... Oh, that's so stupid. Why are you guys so stupid? 
Whatever, I'll take this castle down by myself. My allies are just brain dead. Oh, there you go. They're going it. This is going to be a problem. I need to jump left. Oh, the stupid... No, out of the way, out of the way! What? What? Well, now the arrow is just going to be completely stupid and get herself killed. Um, what the hell happened there? The air how bad the AI is. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's going to be like a comedy sketch right here. Uh, we're going to try this battle again, everybody. Uh, let's try... I don't know what killed me. Whoever it was, was a hero, clearly. Because I just got wiped out. Um, very impressive. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Screw it. No, nah, everyone's just stupid. I'm not going to do this. I'm wasting my troops here. What on earth happened to me? There you go. <laughs> Screw it. Auto result. <laughs> it worked out. I That must have been the axe man. That was a lot of damage, everybody. Okay, I'm going to take all these troops. I'm not going to keep them my party, though. I'm going to keep everybody... I need to fill up this city garrison. There needs to be so many people in this city, they will never even consider trying to take it down. Which will make me lose a lot of money, which is why I was trying to get money earlier. So show mercy, yes. Uh, I got... How did I make a... I'm trying to think for a second, everybody. How on earth did I make a kingdom? I think... <gasps> oh, I thought I was putting him in prison! Oh, no! <laughs> it's all gone wrong! It's fine. Um, we can catch him again. Yeah, so I think... I need to assign a governor to this town... I'll do my wife for now. I need to go and talk to her. Let me just leave and go back. Oh, oh, it is time to take a momentous step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. The language of the document shall be Britannian. Yes, sure. Oh, wait, can I customize my laws? Oh, I can't just pick what I wanted. Cantons and law speakers, are they good? I have no idea. Very well. And the neat oh no, this is why I'm not sure. Um I'm gonna call it the Phoenix, why not? The oh no, wait, guys, I've realized a problem in mid-video. How on earth do I spell Phoenix? <laughs> Google! It's okay, Google can tell me anything I need. Oh no, I spelt it so badly in Discord, it won't even pick up what I said. Okay, Phoenix! First time! I'm really quick at typing, you just can't tell. Wait, what? Aha! So it's going to be weird calling it... The Phoenix, but I think the game does Kingdom Of, so it should be Kingdom Of The Phoenix. Does that make sense? If not, I can change it later. Done! May the Phoenix live forever, yes! On the third day of spring, 1087, Finn declared the creation of a new realm. The The Phoenix! Even more push. <laughs> so far it's not working out, is it? <laughs> Damn it. I am The The Phoenix. Cool, that went pretty well. Um, let's start just spewing people into this pack, shall we? Now, luckily, I have a little bit of a power boon here for myself. As I have managed... To, I've got a lot of random troops in my army, haven't I? As I've managed to now become a king, I can now call my allies towards me to help me in combat. And this means, everybody, that I can put all their units inside the garrison. <laughs> Wait, was my garrison limit 100? That can't be true. I don't believe you, game. Oh. <laughs> Where did I get 100 from? I have many questions. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm going to get my guys, all my allies... Come to me. I summon thee. I summon you all to my location. Okay, I'm just going to start randomly getting people. Oh, look at these. Get out of my way. That's all the troops. Now, I am I have a lack of units, which is kind of terrifying. The, the Valanians will return fire. They're not just going to accept me taking their stuff. They will come and try and kill me. So... You've got to be careful here. Also, I've got to keep an eye on my city because I'm not a Sturgeon, believe it or not. I'm a Battalion, so they're going to inherently hate me. Ideally... 
Another baby. Baby. We've seen this cutscene before. It's fine. Um, what, what was it, boy or girl? I didn't see it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> To Discord, everybody, um, let me do another random name generator thing. There's still only four comments. It's the same day I recorded the last time I named it a baby. Okay, random number generator. Random number. One. If you don't know what I'm doing, it's how I select companions based off my Discord. Four. It can't. We can't have two Olafs in one game. Okay. One. Oh, and that's even worse. It's my companion. You'll see in a second. Don't worry. So I don't know that my companion, even though this is not really how I was imagining this working, but it's how we do. Terrible name. Terrible, terrible name. He's got a treat. Why is he cerebral? <laughs> wow. Well, everybody, my companion name was Bob Pickers. So now I have Olaf the ghost face, my daughter. And who are you? Are you a boy or a girl? Lord, my son, Bobacus. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> then again, I am pretty stupid, so it's fine. Um, okay, so now I've got two children. Are they going to level up? Are they going to grow up in time? Probably not. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to grab some troops on here. I don't really care what I pick up. I'm going to be dumping the rest inside the city anyway. So, And also, if you've got your troops following you around, it does kind of work out in a way because they then recruit as well as they're going around. Oh, I got more car I got more capacity of my army now. Is that because... Is that because... I have myself a king perk, perhaps. A kingly perk. I'm really concerned about leaving. I have put a few troops in that garrison, so it should be fine. Why are that? Where are the fians? <laughs> Damn it, game. Give me what I need. It should be here, shouldn't they? Or is it this one? Might be this one. Oh, okay, look. I don't know what's happened to all the noble troops in the game. <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine. I know they're um by the... There they are. But now I can't equip any of them. <laughs> Damn it, it's all gone wrong. Let me just, what I can do actually, while we're waiting, let me just reward him with some troops. Oh wait, no, don't do, no. Good. Let's give him some troops, shall we? I just want some more archers before I go back, so I'm just going to take a few of them. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba. Wait, no, that's, no. Gotta be careful what I say here. <laughs> I wish that there was no copyright laws so everyone can just sing along with songs. Because I, I like singing all the time. I am also very weird though, so maybe it's just a me thing. If you also like randomly singing for no reason, not knowing any of the words of the songs, let me know in the comments. Are you as strange as I am? Or am I a freak of nature? I probably already know the answer to that, actually. Don't do that. <laughs> Damn it. Making myself look bad. I am very so at this point, because I am an army. Um, also, I think... I'm not sure how it did actually picks your speed because is it taken to effect do my horses get shared with my army as well is that how that works perhaps i'm not sure i always ask these qu i'm a very inquisitive person but most people don't care about the questions i'm answering uh, asking and also wondering why i even care in the first place okay, let's head back to varcheck and we'll dump off some more people i'm surprised no one's attacked it to be honest i am very very surprised get some surgeons as well. I don't really care who's in the garrison. As long as there is a garrison, it should be fine. Also, I probably should put some workshops in here because this is going to be my capital. I'm not going to lose it anytime soon. At least I hope not anyway. Okay, let me just uh, dump some people. Actually, you know what, guys? This is a out of video thing. So I'm just going to be going around filling up my garrison. I'll probably spend like 10 minutes just recruiting sturgeons, throwing in the garrison to get like 300 people in here. So uh, I'll probably do that, some of that off camera. I do recommend though, if you ever get a kingdom, just fill it with troops. <laughs> fill it. Everyone you can find, throw it in there in the first few minutes just so it has like some, a good buffer. So if you get attacked by like a thousand, two thousand strong army and you have like a 500, 600 garrison, you'll probably win. So it's a good idea to do so. I'm trying to take out a Valandian castle at the moment, trying to keep my, um, well, momentum going by attacking them as quickly as possible, while my allies try and garrison my city I captured yesterday. Let's get up there. Wait, th that was my, <laughs> damn it, man. <laughs> I wanted to go first. Now I should be a little bit careful here because the enemy is quite numerous in this city, but I feel like I should be fine. Well, um, um, that's a lot of enemies, everybody. It's okay, I got parkouring. Um, <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that actually worked. Just so that I'm inside the castle. I'm like a, a raging bull, everybody. Now I'm inside, it's over. 
Is there like a really weird lag thing? <laughs> I get falling down randomly. Okay, I'll avoid dying at all costs because if I do, it'd be pretty bad. So what I'm going to do, I'll tell my guys, if they can, to attack with these ladders. Let me try and get in slow motion mode. The game won't let me. Guys. Josh. Did my guys get hit by that catapult over there? Yeah, let's try and get rid of some of these archers first that are shooting me. Okay, that might be a bit harder than I thought, actually. I would just run forward because we're fighting Valangs, they have crossbows. And crossbows hate armor, everybody. They just absolutely wreck it. So I want to be very careful not using all my HP. Screw it. I'm going this way. Let's get my guys inside. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Plan B, everybody. Plan B. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Yes. Wait, they know? <laughs> How do they know? This... What is happening? What the? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it turns out they were traitors all along inside. I didn't even realize. These Valandians understand they need a true king to lead them. That's why they open their doors to the Phoenix King and his troops. Oh, oh dude, I just did a whole speech, man. A whole speech, and you ruined it. Uh, sir, can I, can I? Sir, sir. Is that going to kill me now? What kind of shield this man got here? I still want to get in this way, so I'm trying to get a hole in here. I don't want to get too far in, because if I go, if I get trapped, I'm screwed, like this guy. Oh, we're inside anyway. Oh, he did it again. You are free to go, my ally. Thank you. Wait, he closed it after him? <laughs> what, what is going on, everybody? I have many questions. Bit of a weird start to the video, I know, but it worked out, right? Uh-oh. Oh, they got proper crossbows over there. Let's be careful. That guy was not an ally. He was not a Phoenixian. Phoenix Phoenixian. That's called Phoenixians. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> There's only a few left. We just killed a guy shot me earlier. Ooh, or was it this guy? He's pushing back like five guys. What a, what a badass. Yes, we did, everybody. Yes, we did. Okay, so I just got myself a second place, which is absolutely awesome. I am going to keep this for myself for now. Um, oh, I probably should have kept some of those troops. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Show Messi. So this is probably going to cause the uh, Sturgeons to get very angry at me and attack me at any moment. But if you remember from last episode, I have been a very naughty boy and I have weakened the defense of all these castles here. So if it does happen... I will immediately capture them all. <laughs> now, what ideally I would do at this point is first off, kill this guy who's randomly in the middle of my territory now. Why are you here, sir? How dare you? I don't want to attack him at night. Uh, I'd wish you peace and would you, uh, by chance, be uh, interested in, uh, you know, joining the the Phoenix Kingdom? You know, I've got. A... Oh, he's not. It's not important. Die. <laughs> It's like one of those two-faced moves like, oh, yeah, we could be friends. No, we kill him. <laughs> Take him down. Okay, it's pretty good doing these battles, by the way, because uh, even though my army is pretty large, I think half of them, because I lost quite a few troops yesterday after the terrible siege of my capital, um, they're all pretty low level. So it'd be good if we could do some small battles like this and get them leveled up a little bit. Follow me, everybody. Joining why I look ridiculous with my running speed is because, for some reason, they added a banner into the game that increases your movement speed by 25%, and I'm pretty sure I'm faster than I should ever possibly be as a character. <laughs> but I like it anyway. Look how fast I am. I feel like I'm uh, Usain Bolt or something. Oh, I didn't realize when I started this battle that they'd be so far away. I do apologize, everybody. There they are. Okay. This is a classic... Is this a mercenary? Why has he got so many Valandians? We're in the middle of Sturger. Very weird. Boulder. Normally you expect them, because they're in the middle of Sturgeon, you expect them to have Sturgeon troops. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Was that the leader? Wait a minute. That's their leader. That's pretty quick way of dealing with him. Yay! They clearly buy the uh, shooting behind me. My allies are. Wow! Hi, guys. Um. <laughs> Wait, what is happening on this map? They're just going up on this hill here randomly. 
I don't think they're going to win. Um, despite crossbows having a higher, like, damage alpha against alpha, um, armor, my guys shoot, like, two bolts in the time they shoot one. So, bolts, arrows, sorry. <laughs> also, they have longbows. And I'm English, so it makes me more powerful. Yeah, so at this point, because we just mess with these guys, I really want to try and look into maybe making peace with the Valanians. Because they're really far away. Eventually, they might come and attack me with a giant army, but it's just going to be a pain in the ass. I'd rather immediately switch the war effort now to fighting the Sturgeons. Because I know they're weak, and I know I can capture three of their territories immediately. Get rid of this guy. We also have to start trying to talk to... Oops. Uh, um... Ah, this be... We lost two people to the enemy, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> I want to start trying to talk to all the... What am I called? What am I trying to say, everybody? Talk to all the Britannian nobles and see if we can maybe recruit some of them to our side. Because I have managed to fight for them for a while. Some of them should have a pretty good opinion of me. Let's go back this way. Because as I mentioned before, like the, the Valandians are very far away. I mean, technically they are here. Um, I guess I could try and make my way over there. If I'm on the offensive, they won't be attacking me, in a way. Oh, by the way, I, I decided that I just disband all my parties to get them to go to the garrison. That was not a good idea, because they've just been stuck there. <laughs> I told this person to go back to base ages ago, and they're kind of just over here for some reason, in a city. It doesn't seem to work properly, that's all I'm going to say. Actually, what are they doing? Are they actually just... What are they doing? <laughs> I have many questions. Wow. Is there seriously that many defenders in Flinklaw Castle? They got a lot of lords right now. Damn, have I just kind of accidentally killed the battalions by making moves for his territory? <laughs> Oops, my bad. Um, oh, that's Tessa. I thought this was, said this was someone else earlier. Then where's my bugged companion? Aaron. No, they're not, though. <laughs> they are totally bugged. Let me just try and change a leader. Maybe that'll fix it. Oh, no, it's bugging everybody. <laughs> I have broken the game. It's fine. Another Aaron again. Oh, they keep changing the name. Interesting. How about I just take all your troops? Imperial... Rec oh, I'm actually surprised. They haven't really got troops I actually want, to be honest. I will take them, though. Because I think the rest are going to be stuck there forever. Oh, wait. He seems to be acting normally again, doesn't he? Wait, let's see if I can get him to span again. See what happens. That's not the right way, buddy. Doesn't seem to care. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it, guys. We're, we're playing Mount, Mountain Alpha. Okay, perfect. Anyway, let's go and uh, let's get some kills, shall we? So I have already got... Sorry, despite me getting completely distracted by my um, weird allies there. I have already got quite a few units over here. I've got 165 defenders. It's not great, but it is at least enough that we can maybe defend it properly. I'm actually tempted to start taking over some Valandian territories because I doubt I would be able to declare peace right now without paying them tribute, which would suck. So at least while they're distracted by doing other things, so they're also at war with the um, Azurai, I can try and get this down to maybe them paying me money um, or at least making it more equal so it's not as much money. Because last thing I want to do right now is have a bunch of tribute and just eventually run out of money after a while. Anyways, let's head back over this way. Uh, I'm pretty sure... These castles should not be very high level. It should be pretty easy to take them down. Yeah, easy. I don't think this castle has ever been attacked in the entire history of the game, but yet its garrison is pathetic. <laughs> Many questions are to be asked. Ooh, wait a second, everybody. Wait a second, I got two new skills. This is the worst trait in the game. It messes up your shooting because it's really weird zooming in more. <laughs> so I would never recommend taking this. Let's go for less damage taken from projectiles, which is amazing for me and my archer squad. Definitely worth getting. Uh, as for medicine, siege medic or veterinarian? Um, I'm not using cavalry, so let's go for the this one here. Also, chance of recovering from bombardments is pretty awesome. 
during siege bombard. This is very specific. So that, that's only the troops that are lost by catapult shooting into this, the wall, right? That's really weirdly specific. I'll take it anyway. I thought in the past it used to be a trait that uh, remove, well, helps you keep troops in sieges, but maybe I'm wrong there. I would accept um, anybody trying to buy their person back, because why not? They can attack me. No. Cool. Anyway, I will probably skip this bit, so we can be sat here for a little bit. Is this a Britannian castle? No, Sturgeon. <laughs> I'm kind of confused because it looks like that's a uh, Britannian garrison person there. Hey everybody, it is nearly time for us to attack this castle. I have actually leveled up in engineering somehow, <laughs> despite having no focus points. It's a miracle, really. I really want to get an upgrade, though. So scaffolds or Torsen engines. Um, let's go for this one, shall we? I know... I'm losing the personal per perks, but I'm not going to use a shield anyway, or a crossbow, so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so I really want to attack in the morning when it gets to bright. So we'll go in, see what we can do. I'm surprised no one showed up to try and knock me out of this place yet, but it is what it is, I guess. So the garrison is okay, I guess. Now, hopefully this castle's one with, like, the moat around it. With the wooden cart. We'll see in a second. Oh, it's not. It's this one. So... I'm going to deploy my troops away from that catapult, since you can literally just go somewhere else. <laughs> Simple as that, everybody. Follow me. Yeah, I don't know what changes sometimes they start with a mortar. I think if I move the troops, maybe they don't start with an order then. So I'm pretty sure this is actually an entrance into... Yeah, it is. Perfect. So if I get my archers to spread out down the bottom here, and I get my... I can't... They seem to have changed the ability to tell your troops to attack from a certain location. Or at least it still works a bit, but not very well. Infantry! Ah! Yeah, they must have, like, changed the catchment area or something. It's really hard to get them to actually do what I want. <laughs> anyway. We're going inside the castle, everybody. Let's do this. Help me, brother! There's probably going to be a lot... Uh oh, someone's shooting me. I'll block it! Oh, there's more than one now. No, no, I'm, I'm too high up. You can't stop me. What? What are you doing? Oh, they're coming up from the side. Interesting. I'm in. Now, what I can do, I'm going to fight for a little bit here. They're, they should have archers, but they are, there they are. I have a ram, don't I? Oh, I messed up. I shouldn't have bought the ram. If I didn't, I could open the gate and they could have just walked in immediately. Because the AI only responds to places that they think you can get into. If you have no RAM, they don't think you can get into the main gate. Why are the Fiat up here? Uh oh. Fight my fruit, fight, fight the way fruit. Why are the militia so good at blocking? <laughs> are they done like a specific AI for them or something? They should add it to the rest of the game if they have. I thought you guys were attacking. Get up here. See what I mean about the thing? It's kind of confusing having a manual siege. I guess you could just leave them on auto mode, but they're really stupid, so I wouldn't recommend it in any situation. Unless you're fighting like two guys, maybe. And even then, it's dubious. You just pick up a giant stick. My brothers are here. Perfect. I mean, they are noble troops, so I'm not surprised they're good at block. What, what is happening here? Oh, a kick. Remember, everybody, I have 100% more damage from my kicks, which makes it four <laughs> instead of two. I'm going to move my um, archers up to the main gate. I'm going to open it for them. There shouldn't be that many guards. I can take this. They're also opening the gates themselves. They seem to have completely bought all the AI for this game. <laughs> Why are the gates open? What is happening, everybody? Someone needs to really look into this. <laughs> is this a, Maybe it's a bug with the beta. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Well, let me know in the comments. I don't think I am, though. Uh, I 
This is the most epic team I've ever had to fight. And we're in just like that, without even having to open the main gates, because they did it for me. Are you guys not gonna... Everyone just charge? What is happening with you guys? Maybe I should just avoid sieges. <laughs> At least on video. I had to siege to win the game, of course, but... Now nah, I'll do it. It's fun. I like, the, I like doing CG every once in a while, but maybe not too many in one video. Yeah, I want to get over there, where there's a people. Oh, hi. Oh, they're shooting me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, it used to work a lot better when I played before, though, with manually commanding seniors. I guess they didn't like the idea of players doing that, so maybe they made it a bit more difficult. Oh, this is bad. This is, there's a lot of them. I'm going to run towards my allies. Yay! Oh, dude, I, I'm sorry. I may have just killed you. <laughs> Get him! Oh. It's okay. I took full damage. Yes, I just chambered somebody, and yes, it was also an accident. That was not on purpose. Oh. Oh, my bad, buddy. This works out pretty well, though. So if I do manage to catch all these around in territories, and they also sue for peace, I will then have a better chance. I think... At one point, I might be wrong here, if you have more territory, lords are more amenable to join your side. So hopefully that is the case. And if not, I'm just making it up, apparently. <laughs> Maybe it's wishful thinking. 60. Damn. A lot of level ups. That's a lot of levels. Shield wall. Oh, be careful though, because if I continually push through like I am, uh, there's going to be no garrisons in these places. So anybody can literally just show up and just nick it. <laughs> so, but at least they have to go for an extremely long um, wind-up period with the siege camp for some reason. Ah! They disappear? I guess they did. Though I don't think they managed to get back to... 165. No, they must have just dumped their troops somewhere. <laughs> just like, oh, whatever. We don't need these troops. We'll give them to the battalions. My balanced army. Gee, how am I doing with my balanced army? 114 versus 103. Ah, uh, it's okay, I guess. Steady there. So how powerful is this fortress? 262. That is a whole different number of things. So I'm probably going to wait a little bit. I do want to see if the Vlanians are going to try and fight me. Um, so if I just try and take down some of their normal laws. Because at the moment, even though I took over more territory, I think this is now a higher number of tribute because this is arbitrary. <laughs> um, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, what the stop that? She had like two seconds. Two seconds, man. Can I talk to your prison? <laughs> Why does she appear here anyway? I thought she spawned over it by the um, city there. Why are they just standing there? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I want to kill him. He took my party member from me. I will murder him. Archers? I don't know. Just stand still, I guess. I'm going to go kill their lord, okay? Where is he? Give me my companion back. I can't remember her name right now. <laughs> this problem with not being able to name companions, I just can't remember who they are. Something, something, something. That's, that, it's always going to be free things. It's a very long walk. Maybe I should get the fiance for <laughs> Just in case, guys. It's a long walk. We've got to fight three archers, um, 11 cavalry. I can take that. That's fine. I'm not worried. I okay, will get my cavalry to attack that formation then. That doesn't seem to work that well. It actually kind of seems the same as the RTS mob, where they sometimes attack who you tell them to charge, but then they kind of just randomly go off sometimes. Okay. They still find a way of pathing directly into the enemy fo uh, pike formation. <laughs> it's their favourite pastime. Oh, they got crossbows. Okay, I'll take care of the crossbows first, because they will just instant pop me. I say that. It's quite actually got some high-level troops over there. Oh. Oh, they're lancing, they're lancing, they're lancing. 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, I was blocking down. That one of them must have lanced last second. That was awful. Let's run away. I changed my mind. Run away. <laughs> to be fair, dying might speed up this battle. No, I will get my vengeance. Yeah, he must have switched last sec. Get him then. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Oh, come on. You guys can kill one guy, can't you? Okay, anyway. The enemy is over there somewhere. Everyone spread out of your archers and cavalry and infantry discharge. They're putting them back. The cavalry's going to be behind them. I don't want to make sure they don't kill me. Also, one hit and I'm out at the moment, so I've got to be very careful. Why do they keep running away? It's <laughs> keep making it worse. Oh, I thought that was a hit. I, I thought I did it. Luckily, he just, he's just stuck. <laughs> he will never leave, move again. Why is this small guy with such high level troops? Pretty cool, actually. It's a nice change, because normally you're just fighting peasants. That was not a good place to get shot. That was a bad place to get shot. It's off to white run for you, sir. Oh, oh. Back off, guys. Back off. Where? Oh, I forgot what I was doing here. Uh, where's our leader? Nope. Oh, oh no! He got me! <laughs> the funny way of dying. Oh, why are you guys so stupid? This fight normally. There you go. I presume they started running away, which meant they were just being attacked from the back as they were running away. That's why I lost like five people there. Never die in bad law. It's not a good idea. <laughs> or in general. Never die in general either. No worries. <gasps> oh, she can just go and create a part. How cool is that? Let's give her some troops this time. All these. And this person. Maybe she won't immediately die this time. <laughs> we can only hope. This doesn't mean I need to get some more troops though. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I don't think I could do that in the past. That must be a new thing they've added in. I approve, everybody. Okay, um, I'm going to get myself some more troops. I need to get these guys away from that city so they actually go around the map. Why are they just standing there like complete idiots? <laughs> the Lord Recruitment AI is cursed, everybody. It's the only way of describing it. Truly cursed. Done. Ooh, I've got loads of things. Should I just give her loads of fians and keep going around and recruiting more? But technically. No, I'll leave it. Okay, um, we've got leadership. Nice. Oh, I want to see if this actually works. So first off, 50% more renown for battles. Beautiful. I probably should have done this early, actually, so we could have got to this point in the um, series even earlier than now. But... I want to see how this works. So ha do I, at the moment, have any volunteers? I do. You're fired. Get out of my sight. Now, if I go and get a volunteer. I don't know why I didn't go inside the town there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> if I go and get a volunteer, if I can find one. Give me a second. If this works now, this would be really handy for recruiting an army quickly. Why are you got just I just need a volunteer they're the most common troop in the game apparently. Okay. A volunteer requires XP to upgrade 300. So if I recruit these guys, they should already be very close to leveling up. A science. It works. Can't believe it. It's a miracle, everybody. There's also a perk that increased the um I can't remember what it was now. I think I have it already. Have a look around quickly. Give me a second, everybody. I, I need to complete my thought process here so I know what I'm doing later on. There was a perk. I would say let me know in the comments, but it's going to be too late to be helpful. Uh, there was also a one. This one. Plus one to troop tiers when recruiting from same culture. That is not working. I recruited a troop. He's still level one. So that perk, what does it actually do? It doesn't do what it says it does. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on with my life. 
So we've got the Vlannies over there. I do really want to make peace if I can. Let's get rid of these guys. Maybe I'll just go and collect a bunch of Vlandian lords' heads. Uh, not kill them, just in my prison. And they might decide to make peace. But they have 5,000 troops, so they might get angry if I go into their territory. We'll see what happens. It's so annoying. Why don't... <laughs> ah, we meet again, Derfhart. Okay, let's be careful here. I don't want to fight all of them at the same time because they probably have some decent troops. So I'm going to go like this. Hopefully they run away from me. No, they're not. They're going to an army, aren't they? Running... Oh, they're running away. <laughs> There must have, oh, some laws must have got past me. I didn't see them. If we kill them before they meet up into an army, we should be able to easily dispatch them. Okay. Whoever you randomly are, go there. Hmm. What is happening? Are they, they're defending. Okay, let's go to them, everybody. Follow me. The Phoenix King waits for no man. An impressive looking army you have over there. Many shields. Many, many shields. The so first things first, let's get my guys below this Move. hill line here Our because guys. they won't be able to shoot us and we'll run over and start Move. our siege Move. properly. Cavalry, you can just stand there, I guess. Fighters. Next time I do it, because I was just, this is my first series back, I wanted to do base game to see if it's any better. Um, I will tell you my opinions on that later. You probably already imagine what I'm going to say though. Uh, I will do mods after this, so I'm going to look for the coolest mod at the time. We're going to go for that next. I will try and do more cavalry, though, so we have a bit more variety instead of using archers. So, they have a lot of units over there. I'm going to use a shield wall. Let me get closer. Wait, are they arcing their shots? Why are my guys not arcing their shots? Double standards. <laughs> the double standards of Battle Lord. Come on, guys. Arc your shots over the hill. Okay, shield wall guys, I want you like so to absorb the enemy's arrows. Look how cool this looks on my white and blue. I love the, the color scheme. Okay, and archers, go over the hill and just start firing back. Uh, cavalry, because I don't really know what to do with you, go that way. Don't throw weapons, you're going to die. Just hold the shield wall formation. Are we too close? No, we're fine. We'll move forward when we actually start the main battle. For now, though, we've got a really weird um, <laughs> archer battle, I guess. Some of these guys aren't firing. I think it's because the rocks are messing with the this trees, ruining everything. We could get closer, actually. This is more of an interesting battle for me because AI is not being like... They're actually using their troops efficiently. they got the archers at the back. They're shooting my shield wall, which I'm countering with. And they got their shield blocking the archers as well. It works out pretty well. I like it. Uh oh Really, both sides of the archers are just going to run out of ammo, in theory. I don't know if we might not happen that because we have um, longbows. We might break their shields at some point. Who's that guy attacking? <laughs> no one knows. Move up. We'll try and break them, I think. We'll try and break this uh, stalemate so I don't waste all my ammo. Pretty sure I can still make them break their formation, though. No? Okay, guys, switch over to uh, square formation. We're going to edge forward until they decide to attack. Oh, they were... Interesting. Look how cool this is. They're really, really close formation here. Cool. Go forward a little bit more. I think if they attack us now, they're not. They're going to go behind and attack the um, archer line. For some reason now, they've decided to move the archers in with the front line troops. Perfect. We've got this in the back then. Whoop. 
No thank you, sir. No thank you at all. I do not want what you're selling. What the? <laughs> oh, crossbow hit. Crossbow hit. Panic, panic. <laughs> Run away. Oh, you blocked me. No, don't. Let me get the kill. Yes. That poor man. Dead. Cool. That went pretty well. Who's in the forest over there? Oh, yeah. There's this guy. He's like, if I hide behind this tree, they can't see me. <laughs> no, I already saw you. It's not going to work if you go back. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> There's another one over there! <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. I love it. Is that a third one? I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> I have many questions. Uh, I'll take prisoners. Look at these level ups, everybody. Beautiful! The legendary sword as well. No. King! No, attack your castle. Take your castle. I won't hurt you. I lied. <laughs> now I'll go back. I, I, so much as I like messing around with the king, they are attacking my castle over there, so I should probably fix that. Oh, I, I started stopping them from making an army. Well, that's very handy, because that could have been too much if there was, what, 600 guys? No, I killed 250. It would have been like four or 500 people. Probably been a bit too much. Uh, am I too slow? Oh, it's probably the prisoners aren't helping. That's not going to help you. I'm still too powerful. <laughs> Wait a minute. Their friend's not helping. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's because he's sieging. I don't think that counts. They won't actually break their siege camp. Even if someone's dying literally next to them, they're like, oh, that's not our problem. They're coming our way. Perfect. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, they're not. Oh, they have such a big advantage on this map. Look at that giant hill they have. They're not going to use it. <laughs> but if this was a PvP game, I would be in trouble right now. Luckily for us, it's not. <laughs> it's fine. I still hope that they sometimes... I know people are working on it. Make the, like... Maybe... I know that someone worked on a version of this which is like a proper MMO. So you have, like, everyone on the campaign map doing stuff. I like that idea. Also, I would still like if you have every feature a single player, but with, like, four-player co-op or something. I would love that. How cool would that be? And you're not stuck on, like... You can have, like, one friend go off and be a king somewhere else. You could be a king on another country. I think it would be really cool. I would love that. Maybe then we can, everyone can do Band Lord series together. We can have like a super YouTuber series, everyone being different kings and stuff. That'd be hilarious. Oh, God, 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 get back, everybody. Well, am I still relevant enough to actually play with the Band Lord YouTubers? Probably not. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, square. I'm going to get closer. Um, they have a lot of cavalry over there, actually. Looking at that, I think we're too far away to do enough damage. So I'm actually going to bring my guys a bit closer in. It's going to cause problems with the cavalry over there, but I think it's probably the best way of doing things. You guys move there. No, 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 no. go there. Oh, my super speed! Oh, that was painful. Well, actually, I say that he survived. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. I feel bad fighting this way sometimes, but um, I feel like it is... I used to just not do this kind of stuff because I was like, oh, it's like too easy. But like, I got to fight thousand, like, what is it? 5,000 Valanians by myself. I got to get all the advantage I can get at this point, guys. And also, I avoid comments saying, why don't you fight properly? <laughs> this is why, everybody. This is why. I like a challenge. I like people to die. Nope. Really, the peasant's better than most people blocking. <laughs> Oh, 
was also just imagining in my head, sorry, while I was- That's the reason I went quiet, I was just imagining, like, <laughs> if there was, like, four YouTubers that decided to do a series with, like, a co-op banner lord, how hard would it be to record that, everybody? <laughs> Can you imagine? You have to get four different YouTubers to be at the same place at the same time for recording and get all the recordings to mix up and stuff. Oh, that'd be a nightmare. Especially this time, I'm recording a series in a big batch. So I've done five videos in one day today. <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to do like one a week. It would drive me crazy. Never go. Maybe they do the same thing. You never know. Anyway, it looks like we absolutely smashed that battle. It went pretty well. It's a shame that the king got away, but I can probably capture him again quite shortly, because he will still be around and about. Because that castle is still not defended, so they will always try and kill it until there's enough defences there. Uh, who's left? Ah. Get him! I was going to shoot earlier, but that guy just went right in front of me. No one can get this guy. He's too fast. Noble Cavalry actually have decent horses, so they actually move fast in the trot, which I love. I wish more horses were this fast. Yeah, we got him. Is there still more somewhere? I, like, I love the banners, by the way. How cool is that? Done. We might have one more battle today, everybody. I'm going to go for this other guy attacking my country here. And I'll try and double back and we'll start next episode with taking out the king, everybody. That's going to be the plan. It's literally the same battle. Wait, why is the lighting so strange? Is this the same lighting as before? Or my my brain's just broken or something? I don't know. This is going to be easy than last time. Everyone probably should probably just charge, but I know that just ended in a giant ball of destruction so they're not going to do that my guys run forward uh, infantry can charge i don't mind about them just don't charge archers they go into a really weird blob now it's fine no pain no gain i will keep moving without any fear i'm not even going to look at where i am i'm just going to go oh <laughs> damn it i should be looking where i was going Oh, they're doing a real formation! Oh, no, that didn't... <laughs> I don't know what happened at the end. <laughs> what is going on? It's such a... It's like one of those um, se sequential swimming things. Oh, it stopped. You know, they have, like, all the sequence dancing in the water with the legs going up in the air and stuff. They must be able to hold their breath for a long time doing that. Cool, that went pretty well. Ah, oh, wait, before we end, everybody, I've spotted some Batanian Lords. Shall I see if I can recruit any of them? You have to try and figure out who the captain is, uh, of, not captain, who the leader of the things are. What I would recommend for this game is you implement titles. Like you have like, I don't know, uh, make it pretty simple. You don't make it complicated. You can just have whoever owns... Say it's England. Actually, maybe not England. <laughs> England will work. Say you have um, a castle URL, or in most cases, a count. Uh, whatever the difference would be for these guys. And if you are a city guy, have a title as well. So it'd be easy to determine if someone's important or not. Actually, I said it. Don't they actually have titles in this? Or am I just making something up? Let me go and find something quickly. Were they like more or something for the Britannians? Oh, wait. Do you know what? I would go on and do this, but it's going to be a problem if I run off and randomly start trying to uh, recruit nobles on under attack all the time. Run back quickly. Just cornered the King of Landia once again after I accidentally released him from prison last episode. <laughs> I'm going to try and take him out and hopefully we can throw him in prison and make him uh, declare peace between our two kingdoms. Because as you guys know, I really want to fight Sturgeon because they are vastly easy to kill. Now, men, I have a lot of archers. <laughs> as you may be able to tell, I've gone a bit overboard. Wait, are you guys trying to kill me? How dare you? I'm talking here. Can he actually hit me? Wow, I'm really good at dodging. <laughs> I am the perfect... Oh, that was very close, everybody. I my life flashed before my eyes. So in a second, my guy should start shooting back. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of kills in a second. I forgot I have two cavalry. What are they? 
to Calafrat. I'm surprised those guys have not died off at this point. I recruited them like three or four episodes ago. Okay, men. Start shooting. I'm going to personally try and take down the king because I really want to kill a lord. But I know it's very unlikely these days, but still, I would like to try. Are they just running away? Guys, get closer. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. The cavalry's coming. Stop moving. No, they changed their minds. <laughs> Regardless, from here, we should be in range to start shooting the guys anyway. How many crossbow guys do they have? 83! Uh oh, I shouldn't be standing here. I've made a mistake. <laughs> I'm probably about to get shot a thousand times. Unless they die first. Okay, luckily for us, AI is doing some weird Simon Says thing and continually turning around and back again. Not sure why. Oh, that was a beautiful headshot. I love getting headshots in this game. Pretty well. Okay, here comes a lot of enemies here. Uh, guys, go to shield mode. Oh, sorry, square mode. That's a lot of throwing weapons. Where's the king? Bring me his head. Where is the king? Actually, can't. S there he is. Out my way, peasant. I have a mission. I don't care. Let me in. Oh no, he's inside the formation. <laughs> right now I'm taking no damage, by the way. I have very high armor. No! Someone got him! He was going to be my kill. Yeah, unless enemies have a uh, high level equipment or they have a blunt weapon, they're not going to hurt my armor at this point. Finish him off. I took, a, I took a lot of damage. <laughs> In the same way, a lot of my troops are quite low level, so they couldn't kill that guy either. Is that the only survivor? I got this. Oh. Well, <laughs> he said anyway. Oh, still cavalry left. Nice. Good job, everybody. I feel kind of bad about the one loss thing, but I mean, guys, what do I even do? <laughs> Not much I can really do to change that at this point. Um, King Derfart. Welcome back to my prison, sir. I'm going to throw you right in the castle, though. I think, because I haven't got a lot of perks for this kind of thing, I think it's better if I put him in a prison in a thief at this point than having my own party. Let's just dump him inside. But I just got to make sure we do not lose this location. If we do, bad times. Actually, should I just put everyone in here? Yeah, I'll, I'll put more in there. I don't need money that much anyway these days. I'm pretty rich. This place still has literally zero people guarding it. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I have just done that. I really would like some backup, but um, as you guys know, last episode or two, all my allies have been stuck, and they're kind of just broken. <laughs> so, unless I manage to get myself some laws re recruited, we're kind of on our own at this point. I should probably keep an eye out for any potential battalion lords nearby, though, because I would love to try and fart an escape from a castle. Damn it, guys. Oh, mercenaries. Should we try and get some mercenaries? Let's go see if we can talk to this guy. We kind of got to hope that we're talking to the leader. Wait, there he is. If we're not, it's just not going to work out. Wait for oh, me, buddy. Sorry, I don't think I know you. You will know me soon. I'm rich, sir, and I would like to use you. Yes, I would like you to serve Aaron as a mercenary. So I'm going to have to pay him £190 per infant support. Is this a good idea? Let's give it a shot. I'm not really keen on the mercenaries because they use uh, different troops than most people in the game. They have minor faction troops, so that annoy pretty bad. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, it looks like they're already attacking the castle again. Hmm. It's like if it's got no garrison, it's like they just continually try and take it over. Let's head back that way, shall we? Oh, wait, beforehand though. This. I have way. Look at <laughs> It's flashing red. I have way too much stuff in my inventory. What? How is this, how is this even possible? I must have like a thousand grain. That's what normally happens. Let me find the grain quickly. Wrong way. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of grain, everybody. Let's get rid of that. I wish there was like a way you can do like a uh, food limits and it just automatically sells it or buys it if you're over certain capacity. That'd be so handy. Anyway, let's do that. I should probably sell some of my loot as well. But the problem is I've got so much of it. I'm always going to lose money, but it is what it is. Done. Oh, we should double check though. Do we have any upgrades? Warlord Helmet. I'll take it. I think this is the best battalion helmet you can find. 
No, it won't be, would it? I think the one the High King had would be better. Regardless, I can't buy that right now, so I'll buy this instead. Done. I probably should have kept my other helmet and gave it to someone else, but it's too late for that now. So hopefully there's going to be an army attacking my um, base down here. Oh, it's just one. Just attack him, man. What are you doing? We probably ought to resolve some of these because we don't need to do every single tiny battle, especially when they're this easy to take care of. If I was trusting this, though, how many guys am I going to lose to auto-resolve to this one? That's not that bad. I leveled up. Nice. Let's have a quick look, shall we? So, I'm going to keep going for leadership because as we discussed before, I really want to get some of these perks. And also, it kind of makes it better for um, a lot of army commanding stuff, which we will need later on in the game anyway. But, so, I'm trying to figure out... What's the best way of ending this war? My current strategy is working. That has gone down by like five or six hundred pounds. I guess we just need to capture more of them. I would like to attack this castle, but it's got a lot of defenders. Am I just going to waste my troops? Eh, I'm sure it'd be fine. Don't worry about it. But let me see. Let's go and start the siege, shall we? Okay, everybody, that took a long time to get started out, but we are going to start the siege finally. Um, now, let's see. This castle's pretty cool. I'm going to just avoid all the catapults. <laughs> so you can see they got two lots here. I'm just not going to go there. It's simple as that. So we're going to deploy all our units over here. Guard. Everybody follow me. We're going in, men. Wait, what? Why are you, where are you guys going above me? <laughs> they haven't got any time. They're just as excited as I am. So if I go and stand right here, the AI just will not be able to do anything against me here. Um, if I get my guys like... So oh, wait. Like so. And the infantry can stand a bit closer. We should be okay. I've got too many units at this point. <laughs> no, wait. Bad game. I do not want to do an objective. Stand there. Perfect. Let's see if I can get myself inside the castle before the guys get on the walls. Help me, brother. This is too heavy for me. Yes. What? No, I want it. Damn it. <laughs> Taking all the glory. Wait, why are the Fian champions attacking? If I just told them not to do it. I have many questions. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Worst ally ever. Okay, we're in. So I'm going to try and just clear off these uh, defenders here. But I got a lot of archers helping me out here. So if we clear the walls off, we should easily win. So it's like that's a big glaring issue with the siege defense most of the time. Is that uh, they continually reinforce points at a risk. Whoa, that was close. So because of that, if we keep killing people here, eventually their entire army will be here. Very slowly, like one or two at a time. It's a very... You haven't got to fight the entire fortress, just a little bit of it. Okay. We've got to keep an eye behind me. Oh. Take that! <laughs> so we are losing a few people. They have got crossbows, so the armor's not really that relevant. Whoop. When it comes to our people anymore. Well, that's worked out great. <laughs> How's he not know I'm there? Wait a minute, this guy's wearing all battalion armor. <laughs> he might be a battalion. I like how the catapults are still shooting at literally nothing. <laughs> Genius. Oh, <pfft>. Oops, I may have made a mistake there. Okay, here comes a second wave of reinforcements. I am losing troops or something. Can, are there any, am I in range of the catapult? Ow. Am I in range of the catapults? I might be. Let's wait a little bit longer. When this way is through, I'll tell my guys to get inside the castle. Something's going to come up here, I think. I can't tell them to go down there at this point, to be honest. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to tell my archers... I uh, so go first. Get inside, guys. Get inside. I'll help you out. Hey. Uh, <laughs> where did this weapon go? I thought he was going to uh, point-blank shoot me in the face of a crossbow then. That guy just fall off the cliff. <laughs> yes, he did. That's what, that's what of my cavalry. <laughs> Leading the charge. Okay, still a lot of enemies coming. I'm going to tell the archers now to stand on this wall and shoot down. Get in there, guys. That's bad. This is bad. Not this guy. The guy behind him. Him. He's got a real crossbow. Get him. Oh, no, they're guarding. They're running away. Perfect. You guys keep staying here. 
now we're inside. We pretty much won at this point. We've got to spend a little bit of time to get my guys inside. Can they only use one ladder? No, they're using both, but not very effectively. Oh, they're coming back. <laughs> uh, you defend yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> defend yourself, men. Now they're running away. That was a runaway scream. Kill them all. They're going to try and retake this area. I like that. How cool is this part? It's like a whole second stage of this. Uh, I'll tell the... Actually, everyone, at this point. Men. Ah, oh, if I tell them to charge, are they going to kill themselves? These guys are inside already. They should be fine. No, they're going back outside the castle. They're stupid. Okay, guys, don't do that. I will tell you to manly walk up to that gate and arch... Archers risk me really weird. Do that. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. There you go. <laughs> I'll help you. It's like slipstream. Super speed. Rin. There might be crossbowmen everywhere. Don't charge. Go there. Game says no, everybody. It's taken over. <laughs> the game's taken over. It's doing its own thing now. We've lost control. Oh, damn it. I can still move the archers, though. Handy. Is that the main gate? Let's get that open. It's actually kind of... Whoa! Kind of pointless, actually, opening the gate if they're already inside. But I guess the AI's going to panic and try and close it again. Why are the militias so... Have they got... They must have, like, specific AI for militia. They are very good at blocking. Wait, did he open and then close it again? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, they kind of hit each other. That's a weird castle, everyone. I'm not going to lie. But we have done it. We lost way more people than I expected, though. Loads of losses. Well, in comparison to what normally happens. Done. Excellent work, everyone. 84 an hour. That's awesome. Definitely. Imagine how much you round you get from taking down a city. Oh, wait. Don't I have a perk that double my renown gain? That's probably why it's so high. <laughs> okay. Victory. Let's see if we can quickly run over and save the other place. Uh oh. There's no one inside, right? No. We have to recapture that later. <laughs> I'm coming, guys. I don't care who owns the castle. Only I am in... I, it's only me. <laughs> I'm the only one available to give anything to. I'm not going to waste any time getting companion um, lordships because it's a bit slow. I had to pay more tribute to them now? But why? <laughs> I'm stronger than before. I have so many questions. Okay, I'm going to try and get this guy to join me. Oh, wait, it might do it automatically. Aha! Okay, it's going to be a little bit... Why is it so high? The uh, power level. I think we should be okay. Unless they got like 100 cavalry, I don't think we have a problem. But at least this way with my ally helping me, I got some additional uh, meat shields. I mean, uh, <laughs> allies, yes. This guy's got a lot of buffs. Uh, let's give him the infantry formation infantry again. And done. Uh, they have a lot of cavalry. Okay, this should be interesting. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. So are they going to attack or are they going to defend? Like they're going to be defending. Arrow, stand apart. Wait, that, <laughs> why did I kick? <laughs> that wasn't the right button. So, I have a question. Are they just going to go into the ocean? Or do they all just... They all drown. <laughs> we lost all the cavalry, sir. <laughs> what is happening over there? No, I don't think they can actually get into the sea. There must be like a limit there. Okay, so the enemy's just over there. Um, I'm going to get my inventory like so. Forward! Forward! 
I don't think we have enough distance. Let's we'll see in a second when they get closer. Are they attacking? No, they're horrifically confused. This is quite pretty, isn't it? I think they would have higher um, d detail over there, though. <laughs> Maybe like a picture in the center instead of like being like rendered. Yeah, we're too far away, aren't we? We're miles away. Archer forward! I want to get to the, like two. There you go, that's perfect. Infantry! I don't go much further than this because they're going to be very angry in a second. Why are you going so far behind? <laughs> oh no! Let's hope they don't start attacking now because it's going to take too long for the um, rest of the units to show up. Uh oh. Oh, I, I hit something. <laughs> yeah! I mean, uh, I did it again. What the hell? I must have accidentally found the perfect um, height to shoot at. It's, it's a beautiful. I can't miss. <laughs> it's going to just don't mind me. Just going to keep shooting. Oh, it stopped working now. Wait, let's try it one more time. Hey, it's still working. It's fine. You guys are way too close to the archers. Move up. Okay, the cat. Oh, no. I'm getting get inside the silver. Let me in. <laughs> oh, look how many. Oh, no. Safety in numbers, everybody. Safety in numbers. Oh. Woo. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Get back inside. There's so much cavalry. <laughs> we need pike and shot, everybody. Get the Spanish on the line. We need Spanish. Despite the chaos, we are winning this. Um, I'm just going to use. I'm concerned I'm going to immediately get murdered by a cavalry guy, though. Nailed it. Whoa! Don't you dare hit me, sir. I'm a king, I have you know. No one sollies the king's clothes or arm. Break out, men! Oops, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Ow. Oh, there's a massive archer line! Uh, charging shield mode so you can keep your shields up. I don't need a shield, I'm a badass. Oh, stop blocking me, sir. <laughs> he wasn't even looking at me! He's the chosen one. Oh. <laughs> My guy was dying, I thought he was uh, just reloading. Oh, where did I get one of those guys? Don't even know. I spent so much time aiming and everything and just missed. That was a cool battle. Pretty hard to break into such a heavy formation of infantry though. Nice. Wow, this renowned thing's great, everybody. I should have done this earlier. We could have been we could have been at this point like five episodes ago. Damn, that's a lot of prisoners. Okay, so I got a little problem because the other battle we have to win, there was a way more enemies there. So we might have a bit of a problem when it comes to actually taking them down with my current units. Um, what was it again? I can't remember what it was now, like four or five hundred. <laughs> it was maybe too much to handle. What we can do is maybe get some reinforcements and try. Let's see. Clan leader, plus five pike size at each town you control. Um, yeah. This seems like the better one anyway, because experience and battles shared with troops in your party. That just seems like the best one to go for here. We'll pick that. Now, how many reinforcements can I call towards me? We can bring... These two are still just bugged. Actually, should I just... They, they've been bugged for, like, in probably non-recording senses in episodes. I think two or three hours at this point. They're just sat there. I'm going to disable both of them. Let me just have a look. Do -do -do. 
but I can do this. And you're also bugged as well. The other one's doing great. She already has 100 troops, so we'll call her to help us out. Uh, and let's also bring some other allies as well. This just cost influence, but bear in mind, I got loads of it, and there's no reason to use it, so <laughs> why not? Okay, now before we go and save my castle, let me just get rid of... Oh, wrong button, sorry. More prisoners. Oh, is there a prisoner capacity? Oh, no. Why? Oh, there's only two more. I, I just, I, I just escape, it's fine. We have a lot of lords in here, though. Oh, we did have a lot of lords. Oh, there you go. So I think the only way to really win this is by lords. <laughs> so I just need to keep making sure I capture as many as possible. Yes, 950. The lords are the answer. If I capture cities, it weirdly goes the other way. I need to just have loads of prisoners. Wait, what did I just do there? No, that's not the right button. Follow me, men. Follow me to victory. Oh, he's panicking. What do you want, sir? I want your head, sir. We can auto resolve this one, I think. Yeah, it's way too easy. Although it's always annoying that it kills my noble units when I do auto resolving. It doesn't kill um like basic peasants or anything. I'm just gonna pick up some extra troops while I'm here as well, because I do need more. Not cavalry though. <laughs> Okay, let's think, think about this for a second. So, should I wait for more backup? I got two more people coming my way. Or should we go for it now? I think we probably can No, I'll wait. I will wait. So the garrison here is literally 13 people. <laughs> Not brilliant. There's one. Where's the last one, though? Wait, someone's got a mission for me? Is it... Are the prisoners trying to give me missions? <laughs> what is happening over here? <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. Are they technically still in the... No, there's... It's just... It's... I don't know what's happening. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, what? That didn't even start. It just happened. <laughs> it's gone. Fair enough. You guys showed up too late. What are you doing? We do have the troops down to win, I think. So we will just wait for them to leave. They should come out at some point. There they are. Oh, there's more. Let's do it. Yeah, because if I look at the thing now, has it really changed that much? It's even... <laughs> why does... Why is it the more castles I own, the worse it is for Trippy, everybody? How does that make sense? We don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess they, they're like... They're like, oh, they took our territory. We've got to take it back. Maybe that's how it works. Where do you think you're going? It's been a while. It has been. Okay, let's do this. We have a slight advantage. I presume my ally's army is going to be made out of peasants. Yeah, I've only got 123 archers, so there's mostly just peasants. Um, actually, we can have a look at this little bird eye view. Oh, it's actually quite a very... Oh, this is what I was on about before. Because I bought the manufacturing, this is their troops they bring in. A random dude with no shield, a sword, and a throwing knife. <laughs> they are probably worse to have than anything. I, I don't know. I, they must be the weakest uh, troop I could think of. Uh, anyway, um, let's set things up. Let's get this formation done first, so I haven't got to redo it later. There you go. And are any of you guys mounted, or are you all... Does it say if they're mounted or not anywhere? What was this? Infantry influence. Oh, it has a rating now for how good they are at doing things. That's cool. So, Gudra's is only 43. <laughs> She's terrible at this. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. 71. Oh, this is way easy to figure out who's better then. This person sucks. <laughs> 1, 1, 1, 1. <laughs> Worst person ever. I'm going to put this person in charge. I think I gave her a... I think she has... A horse. Not sure, though. Anyway, done. Invincible! I'm extremely tempted to actually attack with the inventory just so they level up. Um, also, most of these troops aren't mine anyway. It's how I actually used to play Bandle when I, I was going last year. Because I was like, I know there's ways of winning a lot easier than what I've been doing. But it's just like, it does feel a bit cheated with the AI. Dang, and you normally win anyway, so. This is a big battle though. 
We should keep it, especially because they got 229 archers. If the AI uses them correctly, they could easily win this battle. That's a big if, everybody. That is a big if. Let's bring my guys up to this little um, plateau instead of being on the side there. Uh, my guys go down to the foresty bit. Up. Wait, why are you still going? There you go. Okay. So a lot of my allies have archers as well, but not that many. That left flank's pretty weak, so they're probably gonna die. <laughs> are they wait, what's happening? Let me let me get, let me through. They're holding positions, so we need to go to them. Fair enough. But luckily oh it's a circle for I forgot about the stupid circle formation. <laughs> the AI has wasted all their potential, so we can easily win this. So I'll bring my archers here, and the infantry can stand... Oh, no, don't attack. I wish there was a way of not having that happen. Stand there in square formation. Sorted. Yes, yeah, so the AI's got all their archers inside this uh, circle formation, so they can't actually shoot me. So they're wasting all their archers. <laughs> it's a pretty embarrassing situation, to be honest. Okay, ready, get ready. Also... They can't really cover properly, so if I just shoot, I'm probably going to hit someone in the face. There you go. Infantry! Begin the killing men. Cavalry! I'm going to tell the archers to attack one side. and Oh, actually, yeah, throw weapons. It should actually work out, because they're probably going to miss their target, but they're going to hit something because they're so plumped up. Oh, this is a ma I feel so bad for them. They had such a cool army as well. Ah, they brought the archers in. Okay. They're learning. No, they're just running towards us. No more. I take it back. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, as I... Let's just do this here where we screw it. Go, everybody! Kill them! <laughs> right, these guys are very tanky. <laughs> Let me through! It's actually a quicker way of winning as well, because you guys just spread out and attack everyone at the same time. So if you've got the same amount of units, you absolutely smash them. Oh, is that reinforcements at the back? Loads of... Ar Wait, are they archers? No, they're peasants. What? That hurt. I have no fear. I still got. It's why I can actually hurt me because he hasn't got a. Um, he's actually got a blunt weapon, I think. My bad. That's an ally. And now we exhibit a uh, high level unit being killed by a peasant. <laughs> cool. Those hammers are terrifying, everybody. Don't mess with the craftsman. Never mess with the craftsman. Okay, so hopefully, now we've done that battle that way, a lot more experience should be shared with the inventory, and hopefully my allies' units get a lot better. I didn't save him. Oh. oh, do you want to be my horse? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I can't ride you, sorry. <laughs> I thought he wanted to be friends. Nice. Okay, that went pretty well. Let's grab no one from that. Now, the question is, did that battle let us go past the point where I can make peace with the Valandians? Or are we still stuck in a bit of a predicament? Oh, someone leveled up. Gertra has. How is she so bad at being infantry commander if she's got such high skills? <laughs> I'm so, so confused. So I can increase her endurance or her... Oh, yeah, endurance. Not even a question. Done. Let's have a look. Can I make peace now? 
I can. And I think it's worth doing. Like I said, my main priority is going to be taking on the very weak Sturgeons um, instead of fighting the well-endowed <laughs> well Valandians. So I'm going to make peace right away. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, no one can stop me because there's no one that can vote against me. As you get more vassals, you get less control over the game. So it's actually easy to make... If you want to change laws and stuff, do it right at the start. Yeah, there's loads of policies you can bring in. I'll do it off camera properly. But I can bring in loads of stuff here. That'll make the game a lot easier when it comes to Roman Kingdom. Anyway, so that's that done. I'm going to go and probably disband this army. Oh, perfect. It disappeared. Okay, I'm kind of concerned it's not going to work again, but I'm going to try anyway. So I'll release him. What happens? Does he move around or is he stuck? I might have to personally go over there and give him some troops, perhaps. He doesn't seem to be working. No, I think he's broken. Well, oh, well, it's fine. So I want to declare war officially on the Sturgeons. Um, like I said, they are vastly weaker. And these three castles here should have no defenders. I can do it by myself. My city at this point has quite a few defenders. So I think with my additional forces, there is not an army big enough that can defeat us. So I think that's the plan anyway. Anyway, uh, let's go in, shall we? I'm going to declare war now, because I'm going to attack all these guys that are next to each other. Okay. Let's do it. I declare... Wait. Oh, that's weird. That normally only appears when you're giving tribute, but I don't think we are. <laughs> anyway. I declare war on the Sturgeons. Minna the Phoenix declares war on the Sturgeon Empire. Okay, so I really want to try and attack them before they start getting away. It's been a while. Nice, okay. Prepare to die! <laughs> oh, this is Ragnvar! This is their prince! <laughs> I just immediately captured their leader. Nice. He must have been leading an army. It must have like, just broken apart shortly after. Oh, no! I've been given a bridge. What do I want to go on that bridge? Wait, so they're going to spawn... Actually, let's see what happens. Ooh. Better back in charge over there. I'll be able to get my wife is at leading imagery though. Look at this. <laughs> Screw it. I'll make her the cavalry uh, imagery commander. Okay, everybody, follow me. We're going over the bridge. Are they going to attack me or are they going to stay in the hills? We don't know. By one cavalry. <laughs> He's still alive somehow. He even survived a siege. Okay, um, let's have a look here. So you guys go like... So I can't see down there. Nope. Jump, Finn! I can't see! Forward! Forward! Everybody, go, go, go! Cavalry! Kill their... Ca go! I believe in you! You're a survivor! You can take down anyone you want! I don't think we can get up in time. Oh, no, we're fine. I guess the question is going to be, if I do this, will my wife be protected? Where does she go in the formation? I think she's going to the middle. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, cool. As long as she's not in the outskirts without a shield, she should probably be quite safe most battles. Sporadic shield walls. Okay, here they come. I think we're too... Go closer. We're too close. Yeah, we're too close. This could be bad. Uh oh, yeah, we're way too close. Mistakes were made, everybody. Mistakes were made. The enemy is actually going to be fighting our, our front line. Though I do have an entire army of noble troops, so we should be okay. But we're probably going to take some more losses than we would like to do otherwise. Wait, a traitor! <laughs> the best cavalry man the world's ever seen. 
How many kills did he get? None. <laughs> oh, he got one. He got one kill. You think it would be more than that? Oh, well, he didn't die. So respect to him. So we just captured the enemy king, which is pretty cool. Oh, ooh. Is that I love randomly rescuing battalions because it means that, um, well, we have a higher chance of recruiting them later on. <gasps> <laughs> yes. Oh yes, brother. You get more Calafrac helping. Yay. Okay, let's try and get all the let's get a few horses. Why not? Let's, let's change things up a little bit, shall we? I mean, I have quite a lot of capacity right now, and also I can make this a lot higher if I just change some rules, uh, some laws. So we might do that in a second. Try just take everybody. Great. I'll change some laws and we'll see how much um, gap we have to get rid of later. I'll take them all. Okay, so we got a few of them there. If I go into Kingdom and go to Policies, let's have a look. I can't remember what these do because it's been uh, like 10 months since I last done this. Um, there are some though that should increase the amount of um, units I can have in my army. Somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm not seeing any at the moment though. Ooh. Am I, I, got, I can pass five laws. Interesting. I probably want to grab all the laws that increase loyalty though, because um, that is what causes rebellions, everybody. So you want to get as much loyalty as humanly possible. Uh, this one's not a good idea. Royal Commission. Is that army based? Uh, oh, it makes my armies better. I'll, pull, I'll pass this one. For the future. Also, I, I rather not have AI armies because they're stupid, so I rather do it myself. Ah, this one, yes, we found it, everybody. Royal Guard plus sixty capacity. That is perfect. I got enough influence. Let's try and get a few more as well, because I think j just that I have enough to hold all the units I have right now. Uh, bailiffs, increase security. That could be a good one to get. Hunting rights, no. Road tolls, no. Citizenship, definitely no. Yes. Give us a debts. Sentest, uh, settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. That's pretty awesome. This one as well. And as much loyalty as possible. Oh, so was that it for the laws of military? I thought there was one that had one based off the cities. Or do we already have that? I just haven't noticed. Wait, wait top. Cantons. La, la, da, 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 da. I, f I swear there was a law. Maybe I missed it. That increases the... Size per city. <gasps> that was a perk, wasn't it? That wasn't a law. That was a perk. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, as I got enough for one more, let's have a look around. I might go for... This one. I'm not going to get most of my influence from this anyway. I'm going to get influence from killing people. So I'm going to go for this. Maximum loyalty. I do not have to deal with 20,000 rebellions every five seconds. That is not my idea of fun. Done. Cool. Now while I'm here, no morale to penalty while disorganized. And also, oh yes, 25% less uh, troops lost while breaking into a siege. That is perfect. Cool. Let me just double check. I think I might be slightly over my capacity. You're still bugged, aren't you? You're not moving at all. It's just standing there. <laughs> Idiot. What I can do temporarily, I'm going to randomly create an um, party from myself and I'm going to randomly give them the ones I don't want. So this guy, militia, any militia has gone. So I'll get rid of quite, quite a few troops actually. Damn, I suppose the troops I'll get rid of. Let's do this by tier then. I'll keep the battalions. Woodrunner, no, no, no. No, I don't want any archers that are not Italian, because this is a waste of a slot. I'd rather have all noble archers. Nope. Oh. How, how am I doing with the thing? Oh, miles away, everybody. <laughs> wow. Such a high amount I'd get rid of. I do have a lot of the ant champions, though, to be fair. Let's just get rid of some of these basic guys, then. Or we're going to be sucking for a while. 
Uh, Clown Warrior. Da -ba -da -da -ba -da. Are you there? I will get rid of a few of my bits. I'm sorry, Fians. Goodbye. Oh, Done. That was set pretty well. And that guy's got 60 troops now, so both people are happy. So now I've done that, I'm now going to do the thing where I change them over to the person that should be leading them, which was Cheryl. Done. Cool. That went pretty well. Now, let's kill some people. So there are some Sturgeons running around and stuff. We probably need to attack them right away because they're going to go and capture my castle otherwise, which would be a pain in the ass. It's only got 29 defenders. Let's just take care of this big guy here. Also resolve that one. I, for a second, I thought that was me. I was like, oh, that's 39 troops. <laughs> Whoa. I give up. Oh, no, I got even more troops. Now it's 290. It must not have applied. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Mistakes were... Ma I'll just take them all then. It's fine. Oops. My bad. I'll, I'll try and tween it between episodes or something. Did they just win a battle by themselves? Impressive, men. Good job. Okay, so this, this castle has 101... Def oh, they put a massive garrison into it. Okay, that just makes sense. Okay, let's try and siege this down. But everybody, apart from that, I think that is going to be it for today's episode. I think we've... I've, I don't have to make a few cuts in this one because uh, things happen. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, I hope that everyone has enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.